So hey guys, I have on my foundation already because I am doing a review of the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. If that's already up, I will link it in the corner of this video. But yeah, so I wanted to do a quick makeup tutorial of this look that you're seeing, my little model shots. I wanted to do like a soft cut crease using the ColourPop Main Squeeze Pressed powder palettes i just got this in the mail yesterday and yeah i want to try it out the thing about this palette though is that it's called a pressed powder palette it's not an eyeshadow palette because three of the shades are not eye safe which kind of sucks but i'm still going to use them on my eyes <laughs> I say this kind of that kind of sucks and then like okay but whatever so it's these three shades is this one this one and this one typically what that means is that if you use them on your eye it will stain that's what I think the biggest issue is because every time I use a not eye safe eyeshadow on my eye it just leaves a stain I hope that it's not like any toxins or anything the reason why you can't use it on your eye but yeah so I already did my brows off camera as well I use the NYX micro brow pencil for that and so for eyeshadow base I'm using the wet n wild liquid catsuit cream liquid eyeshadow and then I'm going to blend it in with a Sigma brush so we're all prepped and ready to go the first shade I'm going to use is the shade big gulp taking the new palette <laughs> i'm going to apply this to the crease using the revlon blending brush just apply it all over in the crease so for a cut crease it's kind of key to bring the eyeshadow farther in than you normally would into the inner corner because like when you cut it with the eyeshadow it makes like a really pretty little cut crease cut and that's like the bold shadows so typically I only bring bold shadows probably halfway when I'm doing like a traditional eye look before cut creases I like to bring the bold shadows in because half of it is gonna go away anyway once I cut the crease and then I'm going to take the shade red bottoms which is the darker shade and apply that to the crease as well but kind of lower not as high up because you want the dimension between the two shades okay so soft cut crease is kind of going out the window I'm gonna try to reel it back in <laughs> uh, cuz yeah it got dark pretty quick I'm going to now go in with the shade juicy fruits which is the top shade so far I haven't used the non eye safe shades, so I'm doing good I'm just gonna use the shadow to cut the crease as opposed to laying down that eye base again cuz I really don't need it I actually was kind of thinking that this the shimmer shades in this palette weren't going to be intense but boy was I wrong this is so so intense. I thought they were gonna be like satiny almost, but they are metallic, that's for sure. It's like the cut was so smooth till I got right over here. I'm going to go in with a black liquid liner. Kind of nervous, <laughs> but I'm going to use the Revlon Color Stay Sharp Line Liquid Eye Pen Ultra Classic in the shade black is black that's a really long name <laughs> i'm going to just not talk so i don't mess up this is really nice i've never used this before that got thick so fat or long so fast i was not trying to do that big of a wing i think we got it we're pretty good i guess I literally never do wings, so for someone that never does them, I feel like it's pretty good. <laughs> I think they look pretty similar. And that's the best we can hope for. So on the lower lash line, I'm basically going to bring the same shades that I applied up top. So the red bottom shade and big gulp. I'm going to start with red bottoms, the darker shade. And I'm going to take the same shade. Well, no same brush <laughs> and I'm going to blend that shadow out using the transition shade that I use big gulp I wiped off my brush and now I'm just going into that and then just blending the edge all right I'm really loving this look so far I feel like my shimmers aren't even here we go 
go now they look better okay so now I need to pick some lashes so the lashes I decided on are Ardell double 113 lashes just look like this so I actually kind of applied the lash on the tail end kind of up on my liquid liner so that it gives it kind of follows the shape of the wing and then I applied the rest of the lash like close to the lash band like normal it's kind of a little trick I guess I don't know <laughs> okay so for mascara I'm going to use the flower beauty warrior princess mascara so this is especially important when you apply like a black liner because it's a lot more noticeable you see like when I look down you can see like the shininess or the whiteness of the lash band I'm going to go in after I finish applying my mascara and use a bit of a gel liner I prefer to do it with gel liner because the gel liner that I use isn't shiny and it's very opaque it's the Dose of Colors Cream Matte Eye Color in the shade Shady. And this is my favorite to use. So just go in and just tap the top of that lash band. You can see kind of like the before and after when I look down. This lash band looks a lot more seamless. It doesn't look like I have lashes on. It just looks very, you know, seamless. And then this side, you can tell, oh, she's wearing lashes because it's like that clear band there. Little details, folks. Little details. And now it looks so much better okay so for bronzer I'm going to use the Mac Aladdin collection bronzer it's in the shade your wish is my command but I believe it's the only bronzer that they came out with in this collection I think I'm gonna take myself to see Aladdin finally today so this is fitting to wear the Aladdin bronzer Oh, and I wanted to thank you guys for all of the love on my first vlog, on my first like real vlog into like very frequent vlogs. I really have been enjoying vlogging, so I'm so glad you guys love it. For blush, I actually got in the mail yesterday. Oh, I'm making a lot of noise. I got in the mail yesterday some of the blush sticks that ColourPop came out with. So I want to use one today. I think I'm going to go with Flamenco. I think that'll look pretty. So they say you can like apply it on a brush. So I'm just going to dab it on my blush brush from Thrive Cosmetics. And then just apply it on the face. Oh yeah, that looks good. And it's not taking off my foundation. These are very intense. I might have applied a little too much, but that's all right. I don't remember which one this was from. Let me look it up. Okay, so it's from the Peony For Your Thoughts collection. Like the set, you can buy them in sets of three and it helps save you money. Or you can just buy them by themselves. But anyway, I'm going to now apply highlights. And I'm using the NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Powder in the shade oops, in the shade eternal glow i've been really liking this highlight lately which i never thought i would be a like a loose powder highlight person but it is so gorgeous just look at that and then it gets intense super fast i used to be like so annoyed with loose highlights because they would go everywhere and this one isn't too like shimmery like glitter it's just really reflective oh no i'm not gonna do it on my chin I said I wasn't gonna do it on my chin anymore because I felt like that makes my chin look bigger. <laughs> so I don't wanna do that no more. And now I'm going to add my lip color. I haven't even thought about what I wanna use because at first I was like, oh, I wanna do like a red glossy lip because I've never done that. But I feel like that would be too much, like way too much for this eye. So I may just go in with the gloss alone using a bit of makeup remover to just make sure there's no foundation on my lips. And then I'm gonna go in with matte cork and that's just gonna help like with outlining it really isn't gonna do much as far as like change the color of the gloss okay and then I'm going to use the ultra glossy lip in the shade fresco oh pretty 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 I can't wait to take photos <laughs> I sound like such an Instagrammer 
can't wait to take photos of this and ColourPop lip glosses just go really really shiny which is my favorite and it has like a really slight shade to it it's like kind of peachy and it smells so good that is gorge gorge i love this this is the finished look guys i'm not going to use any setting spray because i am doing a foundation review and i just want to see how it wears throughout the day i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure that you give me a thumbs up if you did as well as let me know down in the comments make sure that you subscribe before you leave and i promise i'll see you guys next time bye guys